today might just be one of the most surreal travel experiences we've ever had. We are here in Istanbul, Turkey. This will be split into two vlogs while we're here. We're going to be visiting two small parks, Viyasi, otherwise known as Korsan Adasi, as well as Viyaland in the heart of the city. Each of these parks are home to an incredible looking Intamin launch coaster. But the reason I'm starting the vlog from the car, Josiah, we have been blessed and are thankful for a great fan of ours on YouTube whose father's friend is driving us around today as a private driver. It's incredible. There's two reasons that's great. One, it saves us a lot of money. These trips are not cheap. Um, but two, Istanbul is just a, it's a very new place for us. It's difficult to navigate and it just makes it very simple. I've heard it's chaotic and expensive to yep. get around. So. so we're very, very grateful for that. And it'll be fun to meet uh, some people who watch our stuff and have them Show us around. Yeah, we're actually planning on their parks, right? meeting them this when really cool. we get to BSC. Yeah. So that'll be cool. We're heading there right now. First look at Istanbul here. I cannot believe we're in this city. We're actually only about 10 minutes away from the coaster, so I cannot wait. We just got breakfast. What is any of this? I don't know. We don't know where to start or how to do it. I'm confused. <laughs> oh it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I, don't, I just don't know how to eat it, what to do. <laughs> we are here after a delicious breakfast. It was hilarious. We tried to pay, but of course, we were not allowed. He would not let us. But yeah, here's the coasters. I cannot believe we're here at freaking VSC, otherwise known as Corson Adasi, which opened in 2015. All these coasters are actually fairly new. I'm very, very excited to do this. What's up, guys? Literally red fires right in front of us. This park looks really cool, actually. It's really pretty. It's and also a lot busier than I expected. This, uh, taking a little bit away from Red Fire, this family coaster here, guys, looks really incredible. It does look it really looks awesome. good. Yeah. We have to grab some tickets. I have heard that they charge substantially more for tourists as opposed to locals. So if you walk up and you don't speak Turkish, then you're kind of screwed. But we have some Turkish enthusiast friends coming right now. So as soon as they get here, I think we'll be able to get away with some cheaper tickets, hopefully. We're walking up to Red Fire and I was so excited to ride it. I don't know if it's gonna open today though. The staff got us in complimentary, which is very nice of them. Um, we're still looking forward to seeing the park, but yeah, like there's a gate on it. I'm not sure if it's possible we're gonna ride it. But what they are letting us do right now is walk all around the track, maybe even like on the coaster. We'll see what happens, but, but if we don't get on it, I will be very upset. Oh, look at this thing, it's beautiful. Guys, look at this. We are right in front of the train. Wow, this is surreal. They said it's been down for about two weeks, so yeah, there's no That's way. That's a pretty short length of track to get it up there. That's crazy. Josiah's nerding out because he loves this kind of thing. Oh, I'm yeah. excited, but I will say there's no sugar coating it. It's a major, major loss. It is. This is so cool to see this ride, even if we're not doing it. They actually have a couple mounts as well for GoPros. So they said when we come back and we do ride it, eventually we can film. Right now we are walking on the catwalks, which is super cool. As much as it is a huge, huge loss on this trip, I will just say that I appreciate the park for compensating a little bit and allowing us to have this very unique opportunity to walk the catwalk for Redfire. I mean, look at this. These are the LSMs. So if this thing was operating today, there'd be no chance they would allow it. They are linear synchronous motors. They are essentially large magnets. And that's what they use to launch the train. They take large amounts of electricity from all these different boxes, I assume. Josiah is walking up the top hat right now. I think that's about as far as we're allowed to go, but this is certainly very cool. This awesome looking Intamin coaster opened in 2015 with the park. If it looks familiar to you guys, that's because it probably is. This is a clone of Ice Speed at Mirabilandia. You can see just how large this top head is with Josiah standing next to it. The only difference between this and Ice Speed in Italy is this one only has lap bars rather than over the shoulder restraints. It looks amazing, guys. I am so upset, but this is a really cool experience. Can you believe this, dude? Woo! Red fire, baby. It's about as high as we're gonna be able to go. It's amazing, though. Since the coaster is not working, they are using a device to get the restraints up so that we can sit in them for a picture. That's pretty cool. It's as though we're riding it right now. Could you guys imagine? <laughs> I'm so upset. <laughs> Cool experience though. Shout out to the park for allowing that. That was something that we rarely get to experience. You have fun? That was cool. That was pretty cool. Make up for it a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Still sings. Hey, we do have one more intimate coaster to get Nefes Gessen at Via Land. That'll be in a separate vlog, so stay tuned for that. But before we head out, we do have a couple rides to do. Just because the marquee attraction isn't running right now, doesn't mean we can't get on the family coaster and a few other attractions. All right, we just met the two legends behind everything, Burhan and Ruzgar. 
Pleasure to meet you guys. You're both coaster enthusiasts, right? He is the yeah. coaster enthusiast and I keep up with him. Yeah, but you love roller coasters too? Yes, I, I wanted to be a coaster designer. Oh, nice. And I studied civil engineering just because of this. Oh, really? Yeah. That's amazing. It didn't happen. And have you been on Red Fire before? Yes, of course. You have, and do you love it? Uh, I think it is the best one in Istanbul. That's what I've heard as well. Gruzgar is one centimeter away from being able to ride. So in the future, maybe I come back and we plan to come again together and we'll ride it. Yeah, I so, see. Makes me feel a little bit better that uh, we didn't we don't need to ride without Ruzgar. I really wanted him to experience it as well. Of course, he's the reason all this is happening anyway. So okay. look at this gap. It's not even lined up. I'm going to try to get to the front. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, regardless, we found another open roller coaster. We have the squad behind me. Um, DAL Amusement Rides Company Dragon Coaster. It's very similar to like a Wisdom Rides Kitty Coaster. Nothing too special, but we're going to grab the coaster credit while we're out here, of course. Very tame, very gentle, powered coaster. Ruzgar is like, no reaction at all. Should I react like, oh my gosh, oh! A lot of people think my screaming in my videos are is so forced, but like it's really not. I'm just like enjoying myself. And it's actually not like a nervousness kind of scream too. It's just like a, like a I'm excited type of scream, you know? Hey, we got a coaster credit. That's awesome. We got an open credit. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We're stoked. The Dragon Coaster from DOS Rides in 2019. I've never heard of that company in my life. Incredible. Wind is really picking up. <laughs> oh my gosh. No wonder Red Fire's down. I know that's not the reason, but it probably would have been anyways. Family Coaster up next. Generic name, but this looks like a really great ride. It's a clone of Mine Train Olven at Bakken in Denmark, which I have done before. Love that ride, actually. I think it's super underrated. This one, of course, doesn't have all the terrain use and the vegetation, but still, the layout's great. Family Coaster. Let's get a ride. This I'm actually excited for. It's amazing how even though Red Fire was down, we're actually having a pretty great day. Especially with that breakfast, that was so good. Meeting a bunch of cool people, getting on a couple coasters. And of course we still have Via Land later for Nefeskesen, which I am really excited for. So today's not a bust at all. Oh boy, here we go. Woo! excellent family coaster i really enjoyed it super smooth fun transitions just a nice ride good length too it reminded me a lot of the one we did at land of legends literally yesterday by gerslauer it's very very similar yeah it was super solid and very long how did you guys like it <laughs> it was like good it. but like i had a mini heart attack because i lost my beanie in the middle of the <laughs> it just flew away oh no yeah and i i had the chance to catch it you've already ridden it before yeah you liked it right yeah it's one of your favorites or no in Turkey, yes, yeah, one of my favorites. In Turkey, that's cool. Yeah, and he's been to, he's ridden Millennium Force, which you love, yeah. right? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's super cool. Thank you so much for having us in Turkey, guys. You're uh, welcome. They have, they have made this whole leg of the trip possible, uh, which we're super appreciative of. Absolutely. Yeah, let's, uh, let's continue around the park here and see what else they got going on. Oh, brother, they have an SBF Visa spinner, my favorite. The weight is already off balance because we weigh so much more than the Ruzgar, so we're literally, yeah. the car is just like not where it's supposed to be right so, now. So yeah, this is the SBF spinner. Hey, we got the gang. These are all the park owners and operators. They're, they're so cool. They've been taking us around all day. They feel yeah. bad that Red Fire's closed. We appreciate so, it, though. We appreciate them a lot. Oh, hey. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> this one's not so bad. Woo. Oh, they're, oh, they're spinning they're a going. lot. What? Oh, dude. I wish I could see these guys on Red Fire. It's so awesome. Well, we got the spinning coaster, and I thought it was funny. The employees were so off balance. They were spinning like a freaking top, man. That was so funny. Hey, what's up, bro? We're going to grab some gelato. This looks beautiful, dude. I need some of this stuff in my stomach right now. Dude. Yeah. Is this Turkish ice cream? Yes. America. Oh, we need to try Turkish yeah, ice yeah. cream. You want ice cream show? Yeah, yeah, ice yeah. Ice cream show? Yes. No, okay, hang on, hang on. If you've never let seen me, this let online, me, let me get this, let me get you're this. going to love this. Which one do you want? Vanilla and chocolate and pistachio strawberry? I'll do pistachio. Pistachio and strawberry? Why yes. not? Okay, very good ice show. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh! How did that even happen, dude? Bro, you got ice, it. Ice, ice, really nice. One ice cream, brother. Okay. No! Taste? No, no. no. <laughs> 
Oh, you went for the dick. I have a cone, but I don't have any ice cream. Okay, boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I would have taken it, dude. The reason they're able to do this is because. Size, whole ice cream is. Oh, oh. You slapped my face with that thing. Very good ice show. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh no! Nice, nice, what is nice. going on? Thank you, brother. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate hey. it. Hey! Taste it! Oh my god! No problem, no problem. Oh my god! You for you, which one do you want? <laughs> I'm dying laughing. Same as him. Oh. They have unlimited tricks. Like, these are new. They didn't even use these on me. Oh, the cap! They're dead. <laughs> The he reason they're able to do this is because the texture and consistency of Turkish ice cream is very different. <laughs> I can't wait to try it. And it's amazing ice cream. What do you think of Turkish ice cream? It, it tastes a little it's different, yeah. right? It's almost more like a thick, maybe? I agree. Like, yeah. It's delicious. I think I prefer this to normal ice cream, actually. That was a fun experience, dude. That, if anything, that made up more for Red Fire. That was funny. This was not at all what the staff told him to do. The mm -hmm. guy that was serving us ice cream and having fun with it, he just gave it to us for free. He said, you're a visitor to Turkey. You're yeah. not paying for anything. That's super cool. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. Thank oh, you. Oh, and Waters, incredible. Thank you so much. We are back on the catwalk of Red Fire. We're gonna wrap up the vlog here. Shouts out to the team. You guys have been awesome here, letting us walk all around this coaster, which looks so absolutely incredible. They are telling me that from what they've been hearing from their maintenance team, there is a slight chance it could be up within the next week and a half. Originally, they were hearing one month, so really it could span from a week and a half to one month, but I'm gonna be receiving updates via text from the guy that owns the park. He's gonna let me know in case it does open because there is technically a slight chance I could fly back to Istanbul from somewhere else in Europe since I'm here the next couple of weeks and I'm kind of doing a free-for-all type trip. We are on a schedule, but it's not a tight schedule. I could definitely make a day and dedicate that for riding this thing, but we'll see. It's not very likely, I will say that. Better chance that we'll end up riding Red Fire on a future trip, but I'll keep you guys updated on the community tab. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hey, thank you to the team. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're it's you're been welcome. a pleasure. Josiah? He's been nerding Sorry, out. I've been geeking out over here. It is cool um, that they let us do this. It is much. super cool. It's very rare to get this up close and personal, especially with an Intamin like this. Oh, never in uh, America. So. I'm actually, I don't know if Mark mentioned it, but like, even though it's closed, which is a bummer for us, it's it just goes to show how much they actually care about the ride and they're actually doing a lot to keep it operating. Uh, as Mark has vouched earlier in the video, I mean, just walking around, guys, like it's 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 very clearly taken care of. This coaster is not abused in any way. Uh, so it's really cool to see that. And uh, we'll be back. We'll be yeah, back. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.